Welcome to Beauty Biography, where I dive into the captivating stories of iconic figures and their timeless beauty secrets. Today, we are embarking on a journey through the life, legacy, and favorite beauty products of a truly incomparable artist. She charmed the world with her extraordinary voice, her soulful music, and her distinctive style. Join me as we celebrate the remarkable life of Amy Winehouse, a legend who continues to inspire through her art and her unmistakable look. Born on September 14, 1983 in Southgate, London, Amy Jade Winehouse grew up in a family rich with jazz influences. Her uncles were professional jazz musicians and her father often sang Frank Sinatra classics. This early exposure to music ignited a passion in Amy that would define her life. From the bustling streets of Southgate to the spirited halls of the Brit School, Amy's upbringing was steeped in the diverse cultural tapestry of London. Her distinctive voice, a blend of jazz, soul, and R&B began to echo through the clubs of Camden, capturing the attention of those lucky enough to hear her raw performances. In 2003, Amy stepped into the spotlight with her debut album, Frank, a candid showcase of her songwriting skills and unique vocal style. The album was a critical success. It was clear from the start, Amy was not just another singer. She was a storyteller, her lyrics a window into her soul. Her music, full of honesty and depth, and her distinctive style, a blend of retro and modern, set her apart in the early 2000s music scene. She wasn't just singing the song, she was living her lyrics, and her authenticity resonated with audiences worldwide. In a world of ever-changing fashion trends, Amy Winehouse stood out with a style that was uniquely her own. Her look was not just an expression of fashion, it was a statement of her identity, a reflection of her musical influences, and a nod to the past. The beehive hairdo, a towering symbol of Amy's image, was more than just a hairstyle. It was a homage to the 1960s girl group she admired. This iconic look, combined with her bold cat eye makeup, created a visual impact that was both retro and radically modern. Amy's cat eye makeup was as much as a part of her identity as her voice. It was dramatic, it was daring, and it became synonymous with her name. This look inspired a resurgence in bold eyeliner styles, influencing both the fashion world and a legion of fans. Amy's wardrobe was a curated collection of vintage treasures. She effortlessly blended different eras from 50s pinup to 60s mod, creating a look that was entirely her own. Her fashion choices resonated with those who admired not just her music, but her unapologetic authenticity. Amy's impact on fashion and beauty was monumental. She inspired countless fans to embrace a style that celebrated individuality and a touch of the unconventional. Her influence continues to be seen on runways, in music videos, and on the streets. A testament to her enduring legacy as a fashion icon. Now let's dive into the world of beauty and explore some of Amy Winehouse's favorite products that are still beloved and available today. These products not only defined her signature look, but continue to inspire beauty enthusiasts around the world. First, the cornerstone of Amy's iconic makeup, the liquid eyeliner. Amy's cat eye look was dramatic and expressive, a true statement of her bold personality. Amy Winehouse's eyeliner, a defining element of her iconic look, was much more than just a makeup choice. It was a statement of her artistic identity. Steeped in history and personal inspiration, this legendary cat eye, known for its bold, dramatic wing, drew its roots from the aesthetics of the 1960s, a period that greatly influenced Amy's music and style. The 1960s, especially known for the mod fashion and music scene, saw the cat eye as a symbol of feminine power and glamour, popularized by style icons like Brigitte Bardot and Audrey Hepburn. Amy's adaptation of the style was both a nod to these influences and a reflection of her unique approach to fashion and self-expression. The thickness and upward flick of her eyeliner became a trademark, setting her apart in the early 2000s music scene, where more subtle makeup generally prevailed. This distinct look resonated with her fans and became synonymous with her name, reflecting the boldness and raw emotion that characterized her music. 
Her choice of this dramatic style was more than just a personal preference. It was a homage to the music and fashion that shaped her, and a statement of her identity as an artist. In crafting her image, Amy Winehouse not only revived a vintage makeup trend, but also infused it with her personality, creating a legacy that continues to inspire makeup enthusiasts and artists worldwide. And Amy wore the Rimmel London Exaggerate Liquid Eyeliner. And in the 1950s and 60s, Rimmel was at the forefront of the mod fashion scene in London, further establishing its status as a symbol of contemporary British style. And she also used a volumizing hairspray to make her beehive. The beehive hairstyle and emblematic look of the 1960s has a fascinating history that spans over half a century. This distinctive style, characterized by its cone shape and significant volume at the top of the head, was created in 1960 by Margaret Vincy Help, a celebrated hairstylist from Chicago. Margaret designed the beehive to meet the demand for a new and exciting hairdo that would complement the decade's modern fashion trends. The style got its name due to its resemblance to the shape of a traditional beehive. I really like the retro look of the beehive. The beehive quickly became a fashion sensation embraced by women of all ages. It was popularized by celebrities, movie stars, and singers of that era, becoming a symbol of elegance and glamour. The style was very versatile, allowing for variations and personal touches, which contributed to its widespread appeal. Women often adorned their beehives with accessories like bows, jewels, and or scarves, making each hairstyle unique. Amy Winehouse, with her deep appreciation for retro styles, notably resurrected the beehive hairstyle in the 2000s, making it an integral part of her iconic image. Winehouse's adoption of the beehive was more than just a mere fashion statement. It was a non to the musical influences of the 1960s, particularly the girl groups and soul singers she admired. Her version of the beehive was distinctive, often larger and more dramatic than the classic 60s styles paired with her modern makeup, such as the winged eyeliner and some contemporary wardrobe choices. Amy's beehive became synonymous with her public persona, reflecting her unique blend of vintage and modern influences. It wasn't just a hairstyle, it was a representation of her as an artist, rebellious, soulful, and distinctly connected to the roots of her musical inspiration. The fact that she could take a hairstyle so emblematic of a past era and reinvent it in a way that was fresh and relevant showed her creative vision and her influence on fashion. And Amy Winehouse's beehive hairstyle went on to inspire a new generation, repopularizing the look and demonstrating the cyclical nature of fashion trends. Her version of the beehive will always be remembered as a significant aspect of her legacy, a symbol of her individuality and her connection to the rich history of music and style. And Amy's beehive hairstyle is legendary, and to replicate the style, you'll definitely need a volumizing hairspray, and Aquanet hairspray is a fantastic choice, and it's available in hair salon, and you can still buy this one today, and this is a retro hairspray, and it is basically a household name in the world of hair care products, and it has a storied history that dates back to the mid-20th century. The brand became iconic, particularly known for its firm hold hairspray, which became a staple in beauty routines across several decades. So the hairspray became popular as the beehive became popular, and the origins of Aquanet can be traced to the 50s, a time when hairstyles were becoming more elaborate, and there was a growing need for hair products that could hold these styles in place. And during this era, the trend of voluminous hairdos such as beehives and bouffants was on the rise, and Aquanet's hairspray became the go-to product for maintaining these styles. The product's popularity soared in the 60s and 70s, aligning perfectly with the era's hair trends that demanded reliable hold. And when it comes to lipstick, Amy used a Chanel lipstick as well as a MAC red lipstick and a MAC cherry lip pencil. And I found this out because I checked out the catalog of her estate at Julian's auction and these were listed. Red lipstick, an enduring symbol of glamour and confidence, has a rich history in Hollywood and music, tracing back to the early days of cinema. Its journey through the decades highlights how the bold cosmetic choice has become a powerful expression of personality, femininity, and rebellion resonating with icons across different eras, including Amy Winehouse. 
In the golden age of Hollywood during the 20s and 30s, red lipstick was a staple of the silver screen. It was popularized by film actresses like Clara Bow and later Marilyn Monroe, who turned it into a symbol of allure and sophistication. The stark black and white film technology of the time accentuated the contrast of red lips against the skin, making it a dramatic and essential element of screen makeup. This period solidified red lipstick as a symbol of glamour and an essential accessory for any aspiring starlet. As color films emerged, the allure of red lipstick only grew. It became an iconic aspect of Hollywood's beauty standards, with stars like Elizabeth Taylor and Audrey Hepburn making it part of their signature looks. In the music industry too, red lipstick found its place as a symbol of boldness and confidence. Female musicians and performers used it to protect strength, individuality, and sexual empowerment, qualities that were particularly resonant in the evolving music scenes of the 60s, 70s, and beyond. Entering into the 21st century, Amy Winehouse incorporated red lipstick into her style, but with her unique twist. Amy's use of red lipstick was not just about glamour. It was a throwback to the vintage styles of the 50s and 60s, echoing her love for retro music and fashion. Her look was often a fusion of modern and retro elements. The bold red lips complemented her dramatic hat eyeliner and her beehive hairstyle, creating a distinctive and memorable appearance. Amy's choice of red lipstick was more than a cosmetic preference. It was a part of her artistic persona, symbolizing a blend of vulnerability and boldness, classic style and contemporary edge. It was a tribute to the past and a statement of her identity in the present. In this way, she joined the ranks of countless women in Hollywood and music who use red lipstick as a tool of self-expression and empowerment. The history of red lipstick in Hollywood and music is a story of evolving expressions of femininity and power. From the silent film sirens to the bold artists like Amy Winehouse, red lipstick has become a constant emblem of strength, allure, and artistic expression, making it much more than just a beauty product, but rather a cultural icon in its own right. And let me know in the comments below if you wear red lipstick on a regular basis. And other beauty products that Amy Winehouse used. In late 2021, Julian's Auction held a significant auction featuring a collection of Amy Winehouse's personal belongings. The event garnered considerable attention as it included an array of items that once belonged to the iconic singer, offering fans and collectors a unique opportunity to own a piece of her legacy. The auction showcased over 800 items, providing a deeply personal glimpse into Amy Winehouse's life, career, and her distinct sense of style. Among the items were some of her iconic outfits, including dresses she wore during performances and public appearances. These pieces were not just garments, but symbols of Winehouse's unique fashion sense that combined retro influences with contemporary styles, a testament to her status as a style icon. In addition to her clothing, the auction featured a variety of Amy's personal belongings that painted a picture of her interests and personality. This included handwritten lyrics and notes, which offered insight into her creative process and the depth of her artistry. These items were particularly important as they provided a direct connection to Amy Winehouse's music-making journey, reflecting her raw talent and emotional depth. Other items in the auction included various pieces of jewelry and accessories that Winehouse was known to wear, including earrings and necklaces and belts. These items were emblematic of her bold and eclectic fashion choices, which often blended vintage charm with the modern edge. The auction also featured a range of memorabilia and artifacts from her career, such as awards, photo shoots, and backstage passes, each telling a part of a story of her rise to fame and her impact on the music industry. These items served as tangible reminders of her achievements and the legacy she left behind. Proceeds from the auction were set to benefit the Amy Winehouse Foundation, an organization established by her family to help young people struggling with addiction, and this aspect of the auction highlighted the ongoing efforts to honor Amy Winehouse's memory by supporting causes she cared about. And some of the items featured were Benefit High Beam Luminescent Complexion Enhancer, Bourgeois Concealer Sleep Makeup 
Coral Blush 933, an Urban Decay Face and Body Bronzer. There is also a tube of L'Oreal Paris Extra Voluminous Mascara, and this mascara would be very well suited to create that Amy Winehouse dramatic look, and I love that you can still get these products today. And then there's the Chanel Number no. 5 Body Powder. And I kind of like the classic idea of this since this is a vintage fragrance created by Coco Chanel in 1921. Maybe it was almost a throwback to Marilyn Monroe. I think at the auction there were uh, some books about Marilyn Monroe, so I feel like she was a fan. And there's a Laura Mercier Chocolate Truffle Cream Body Wash. And this one is definitely lavish. I've never tried it myself. Let me know in the comments below, but it seemed like she was a fan of Laura Mercier because there was also a Laura Mercier SPF 20 Tinted Moisturizing Sunscreen. I've heard this one is actually really good as like an all over sunscreen and foundation if you want a light dewy coverage. Let me know if you tried this one. I've heard really good things. I've been curious to try it myself. And then there was the Laura Mercier Chocolate Truffle Souffle Cream at the auction as well. And this one went with her body wash and again, it's really moisturizing. I think she liked sweet scents because both of these kind of are like a sweet, decadent fragrance. And then she had the Simple Clear Skin Oil Balancing Moisturizer. So it's nice to know that she had like drugstore products as well, because this one you can buy at the drugstore. And maybe she had more acne prone, oily skin. This one is good if you have more oily skin, like I said. And it is interesting to think that she used it in her beauty routine. And maybe it was good because she probably wore a lot of makeup when she was on stage. So this one was like a nice light moisturizer. And then she also had Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. And this one is considered a cult favorite and is known for its multi-purpose effect. So you can use it as a primer under makeup. And people said that you can also use it as a face mask. I've never tried that one. Let me know in the comments below. And for the perfume, she had a Vera Wang Princess perfume. I really like this scent. And this one was definitely popular in the early 2000s. And this one was introduced in 2006. And it's a combination of both sweet and exotic aromas. I really like the bottle, the heart-shaped bottle with this one now. I it's almost considered vintage at this point because it's almost close to 20 years old. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this one. I used to have this perfume. I actually kind of want to get it again. And she had Hot Couture Perfume by Givenchy. And this one is a sophisticated, elegant perfume and it has a unique blend of sensuality and playfulness. And again, this one was launched in the year 2000 and it has the classic with the modern. So I can see why she would like it because her music style and her fashion is almost a combination with the vintage and the modern. So it was interesting to find out what fragrances she wore. I feel like I would like both of them. I know I like the princess one. And then she really liked bath oils and she had a Neom Organics bath oil that was at auction. So it seemed like she really enjoyed taking long baths and and showers and then just enjoying the luxury of the essential oils and she probably used these as a way to kind of take her mind off performing and to restore balance and calm in her life and she also had amca organic bath oil and this is another luxurious bath oil that would be good for providing a luxurious and relaxing experiment and this one would be good for providing a luxurious and relaxing experience. So it's so interesting to see all of her items at auction. I felt like I was kind of going through her, I don't know, her own personal life. You really can learn a lot about a person just on the books they had, as well as their personal items. And these beauty products not only allow us to commemorate Amy Winehouse's iconic style, but also provide an opportunity to explore her own creativity and makeup and hairstyling. Anyone can go look at these catalogs online too at Julian's auction. And the peak of Amy Winehouse's career was marked by the release of her groundbreaking album Back to Black in 2006. This album, with its fusion of soul, jazz, and R&B, catapulted Amy into international stardom. Its raw emotion and honest lyrics resonated with millions, turning Amy into a global sensation. And there's a movie coming out this spring too about Amy and Winehouse, which I'm excited about. And Back to Black was not just a commercial success, it was a cultural phenomenon. The album's soulful melodies and heartfelt lyrics, including hits like Rehab and Tears Dry on Their Own, earned Amy numerous awards, including five Grammy Awards. Her voice, rich and deep with emotion, spoke to a generation. 
However, with soaring fame came profound challenges. Amy's personal life became a relentless focus of media scrutiny. Her struggles with substance abuse and turbulent relationships were always in the spotlight, often overshadowing her musical genius. Despite her global fame, Amy remained deeply human, grappling with issues that many face. Her battles with addiction were not hidden. They were laid bare in her music, creating a poignant and tragic connection with her audience. Throughout these challenges, Amy's artistry never waned. Her music continued to inspire and resonate with people from all walks of life. Her vulnerability in her songs became a source of strength for many, even as she fought her own battles. Amy Winehouse's journey at the height of her fame was a complex tapestry of extraordinary talent, personal struggles, and the harsh glare of public life. Her legacy, however, remains undimmed, a testament to her enduring impact on music and the hearts of those who loved her music. On July 23rd, 2011, the world was stunned by the heartbreaking news of Amy Winehouse's untimely death. At just 27 years old, a bright light in the music industry was extinguished. Amy's passing was not just a loss to those who knew her, but to millions of fans who found a piece of themselves in her music. Amy Winehouse's association with the 27 Club is both a tragic and notable aspect of her legacy. And the 27 Club refers to a group of influential musicians who tragically passed away at the young age of 27. And this group included iconic figures such as Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain, and later Amy Winehouse herself. Her inclusion in this group underscores the significant impact she had on the music industry in her relatively short career. Like others in the 27 Club, Amy was not only immensely talented but also struggled with personal issues including substance abuse and mental health challenges. The mention of the 27 Club often brings to light discussions about the pressures of fame, the challenges faced by young artists in the spotlight, and the importance of mental health support in the music industry. Amy's life and her membership in this tragic group have brought awareness to these issues, sparking conversations about how to better support artists dealing with similar struggles. Despite her joining the 27 Club, Amy Winehouse's legacy is celebrated for her artistic contributions, her unique style, and her influence on future generations of musicians. Her albums, particularly Back to Black, continue to be celebrated for their raw emotional depth and stylistic innovation. Amy's voice, her music, and her story have left an indelible mark on the world, transcending her association with the 27 Club and highlighting her as a timeless icon in the music industry. The impact of her death on the music industry and her fans was profound. Amy Winehouse had become an icon, her voice a unique blend of soul, jazz, and blues that spoke directly to her heart. Her departure left a void in the music world, a reminder of the fragility of life and the harsh realities of addiction and fame. In the wake of her passing, the Amy Winehouse Foundation was established. Created by her family, the foundation aims to prevent the effects of drug and alcohol misuse among young people. Amy Winehouse's influence extends far beyond her music. Her unique style and blend of retro and modern continues to inspire fashion designers and fans alike. In music, her emotive songwriting and soulful voice have influenced a generation of artists. She redefined what it meant to be a female artist in the modern age. Amy Winehouse's story is one of extraordinary talent, personal struggle, and a lasting legacy that continues to inspire. Throughout her music, her style, and the foundation created in her name, Amy's spirit lives on, touching new generations and continuing to make a mark on the world. Amy was not just a music icon, she was a woman of immense talent, vulnerability, and resilience. From the streets of London to the global stage, Amy's soulful voice and honest lyrics touched the hearts of millions. Her unique style, a fusion of vintage glamour and modern boldness, continues to influence fashion trends. But beyond her music and style, Amy's legacy is one of authenticity and emotional expression. And let me know in the comments below, are you an Amy Winehouse fan? It was interesting going back and listening to her music and it definitely was so unique for its time. And I really like her retro inspirations, especially in her style, fashion and music. I'm all about retro music from the 50s and 60s. So I really like Amy Winehouse and 
and I'm really excited for the biopic to come out and doing this video kind of made me re-explore and touch base with, with a lot of her old music. And let me know in the comments below, are you excited for the movie? And let me know if you want me to cover any other famous movie stars that lost their lives tragically. All right, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. See you guys soon, bye.